The end of an era in Gordon House today as MPs and senators across the political divide pay tribute to a giant of Jamaican politics who is about to exit the political stage, Portia Simpson Miller. Mrs. Simpson Miller rose through the ranks of the People's National Party to become its president and make history as the first and so far only woman to become prime minister. She said that to resign from her role as member of parliament for Southwest St. Andrew in two days. This evening we have team coverage beginning with TVJ's Andrea Chisholm who is outside Vale Royal. Over to you Andrea. Thank you very much, Archibald and Doreen. I'm here at Vale Royal, the official residence of the Prime Minister, where the Prime Minister himself will be hosting a reception in honor of Mrs. Simpson Miller. A number of dignitaries are here. Earlier, I saw the Chief Justice Zela Makala and members of the Diplomatic Corps. And later, in a more relaxed setting, they will be paying tribute to Mrs. Simpson Miller for her over 40 years of service to the Jamaican people. But let's take you inside Gordon House where members of both Houses of Parliament paid a tribute to her earlier. The atmosphere there could be described as warm and fuzzy. Political royalty robed in white arriving to pounding desks and a standing ovation during a joint sitting of the lower and upper Houses of Parliament. To pay tribute to the most honorable Portia, Lucretia Simpson Miller, ONMP on her retirement. Senators reciprocated the familiar greeting of Portia Simpson Miller, hugs and kisses all around. The history-making moment was evident through the presence of former Prime Ministers Edward Siaga and P.J. Patterson, as well as Speaker of the House of the Assembly in the Cayman Islands, Makiva Bush. Prime Minister Andrew Holness said Mrs. Simpson Miller was a metaphor of hope and strength for the Jamaican people as she attained the highest office, that of a Prime Minister. This is... No ordinary feat, and you are no ordinary woman. We pay homage to you today, and we identify with your son, the strength of a woman. He also described her as a genuine person who always had the less fortunate at the forefront of her mind. You have been the voice that has kept the government, government focused on policies and programs that are beneficial to the poor. And I have studied you in that regard. I have observed how you have operated. And I am saying to you on your retirement that you don't have to worry. There is a new defender of the poor people of Jamaica. The current leader of the opposition recalled Mrs. Simpson Miller's contribution as Minister of Tourism, Sport and Labor. It is indeed indisputable that during her tenure as Minister of Labor, the confidence that she inspired in both the labor movement and the employers contributed greatly to ensuring stability in the industrial relations, climate in the country, in what was admittedly a very difficult economic environment. It was very visionary on her part to have created a Ministry of Climate Change. And I heard the Prime Minister speaking about that and asked me to administer that named portfolio. Mr. Speaker, when that occurred, Jamaica was the first Caribbean country that had identified such a portfolio. And while parliamentarians paid tribute to the woman known affectionately as Sister P or Mama P, some PNP supporters were also outside Gordon House to honor her legacy. She's a wonderful lady and I respect her. She does a great job for Jamaica, right? And the, and the world. In 20, 2011, when Jamaica had tear down, nobody wanted to see Jamaica. And him and Peter Phillips come and fit, see? Right? I, I remember when I left my country come at home and Michael couldn't read. Is she? Make I have little thing in my head. Read and write. Plus the house I'm living in, she give me. So it's my mother that. So I feel it how she I leave. But I beg God to help her. Be strong, Mama P. You're not leaving your constituency. Whosoever you put there, you will still be there. By Jesus' mercy, Mama P, we all love you. We miss you. We miss you, Mama P. We miss you. Who do you want to replace her? 
Well, I don't know. God's mercy and grace will send someone of her pattern. PNP supporters there sharing in the history-making moment, the retirement of Portia Simpson Miller from representational politics. And no doubt, we look forward to hearing who will succeed Mrs. Simpson Miller in the constituency of Southwest St. Andrew. Doreen, it's back to you. Thank you, Andrea Chisholm.